happened again. My stuff died. Uh, so I guess I'll finish this match. May or may not post this video. I might since it's kind of free and then I'll just play another match or something. I don't know. But playing as Marty Green, currently up a game. Night of the White Orchid is great. Dress, Bricks. Uh, Abbott, DP, Forest. All right. Yeah, I guess I pound you. Now we can start dropping Planeswalkers. I wish my stuff would not keep crashing. It's kind of annoying. I guess I will enlist the help of someone far smarter than me. When my opponent hits land... All right. Drew land, cool. Uh, which which awesome planeswalker should I play first? I guess Gideon, so I have another body. Kind of makes sense. Gideon is my best one, so it kind of stinks. If it dies, then I just have two stupid Sorens, but. Oh, I'm gonna keep the Thopter back. I don't think the one damage is really worth it. If he has a removal spell or a black mana to act activate the vent, I think I might just want the chump blocker. Plus, it could potentially actually trade with Abbott, so there's that. Uh, also, double block to kill the vent. You know, a lot of a lot of business and happenings, a lot of moving parts. Uh, definitely not gonna sack this flooded strand because I kind of want to get to seven so I can play Truths in a four in the same turn. Oh, I wish my stuff would stop crashing. Why am I so technology inept? Alright, so there's the forest. Probably just going to play DP and pass. Alright, so play Soren. Tick up. Smash him a Gideon. Sound reasonable? Maybe I'll just smash him with everyone. What happens then? Gets like an impulse back. Yeah, I don't really want to do that. That seems silly. I can defend my planeswalkers and... I think if I just hold steady, especially with two painful truths and a lot of life to work with, I should be in pretty good shape. Guess, guess I'm not really sure why I stopped playing this deck. Because I definitely win a lot with this deck. Mysteries. Talking about mysteries. So you can DP a, bl a black source or a fiery impulse. Impulse seems kind of necessary. I feel like you need to clear away my blockers... Uh, they have a shot of beating these Planeswalkers, so. Impulse is indeed what my opponent gets. There's a Windswept Teeth, which does not get black mana, so Baja, I suppose. Uh, might also just be out of lands to fetch, because I only played those four lands when I played this deck. And it's, it's not like you ever really need the second Vista or Cinder Glade or whatever, so... Another spell would be good, but it still doesn't stop me. And they do have a Cinder Blade. All right. Crackling Doom. I guess I have to sack my knight. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Pretty bad for Jerry. So I can't really block the Abbot uh, or the Den Protector. So it's possible if he does attack with not the Soul Far, I might just chump the Abbot. Okay, so he's going to kill my Gideon. Uh, yeah. I think I'm supposed to block. Maybe. Maybe not. So, so Soren goes down to one. I can take up Soren, cast Painful Truth. Well, cast Painful Truth, see if I draw a creature, then take up Soren. 
Uh, and the next turn I can minus. And then play another Soren, maybe. Or something else. Whatever. Whatever. So we get the other Sunken Hollow. This will make blue. This will make black. This will make white. Truth's number one for the turn. That's tight. That is tight. Uh, silk Wrap, your DP, maybe? Yeah. And then I have... Soren plus Thopter to hold off Abbott and Soulfire. Another Morph, not bad. I'm uh, gonna get the Impulse and go after my Planeswalker. We'll see who attacks who. I wanted that Thopter for my Wingmate Rock, but we'll get there eventually. You're actually going to send both at Soren? Yup. Okay. Well, then I guess I cut your Grandmaster, because that's the better card. Okay, that's cool. So now I have Secure into Soren. Maybe secure into rock. Well, now I guess I have to secure. And then he can take Soren or Truths, but I still have Wingmate Rock and the other spell, so still like my spot. Although, two turns ago, I thought I just couldn't lose, but opponent's been doing some good work. Yeah, so last, last game my opponent had to duress my Gideon instead of my Truths, and like the Truths buried him. And this is kind of like the same, the same deal going on. Uh, where it's like, you have to take the big spell, because the big spell is great, but then you leave me with the card drawer, and the card drawer is going to beat you anyway. Which might take a while. So, Kakaw... Yeah, we'll do that one. So, certainly the most scared of a painful truth from my opponent. Rhino's not bad. Does not answer things. And I'm about to draw three cards. Block. I swear I'll block. Uh, I should have this for blue, I guess. Alright, I can still grab the DP. Can just smash into the Rhino and gain a bunch of life. Guess I'll duress. Like, might. I don't know. I don't even know what they could have. Okay. Thought it might be a black spell, but I don't know. There were a lot of turns where, like, Den Protector uh, might have been worse than casting a black spell, so I don't know. Alright, Silk Wrap, your DP. Smash you with rock and all my things. Gain DI. You get to eat a soldier, but I trade a soldier for 5 life and 4 damage, so... Certainly seems worth it. Put my opponent to 8. And me to 16. So, kind of silly that I have 10 protectors under silk wraps. Those are definitely not good trades. But I also cast Painful Truths and a bunch of Planeswalkers this game. So, also secure the wastes. Big game. Big game. Oh, toot toot. Forgot you were in my deck.
Toot toot. Okay, okay. Doesn't really help, but all right. Gaining infinite. Uh, I could potentially lose to a sweeper here, but I'm okay with that. Pretty unlikely my opponent has outburst or end hostilities, so there you go. Currently 2-0. Uh, I know you only saw, like, you know, 90% of the first match and 40% and of this one or whatever, but uh, I'll try and get five matches in.